Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing another crochet tutorial showing you how to create this amazing summery crochet top. I really hope you will enjoy this tutorial and I hope it will be useful for you and will help you to make another top for yourself as well. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and please give me a big thumbs up to support me. But now let's get into it. So here is the top that we are going to try to recreate and I did it a couple of weeks ago so now I think it's the perfect timing to do it together with you and show you how to actually do it. What's special about this top is that it's quite simple to make and also it has quite a lot of different crochet stitches so you will be able to practice those and the end result is also super beautiful. Here I'm just showing some of the measurements uh, which are not that relevant because you can obviously make this top in any size you wish but in width it's approximately 37 centimeters and in height I did it approximately 28 centimeters but you can of course do the size uh, as you wish, you can make it longer, you can make it wider, it's totally up to you. For today's top that we are going to do together, these are the colors that I'm going to use and I will be mostly focusing on the blue tones, which are basically the leftovers that I found in my cupboard, but I think the end result will be super nice and you are going to love it as well. I will be using organic cotton 8x4 and suggestion here is to use 2.5 or 3mm crochet hook, however I will be using a 3.5mm crochet hook just because I want to create a little bit looser look. We will also need scissors and darning needle but that's not mandatory because you can basically do everything by using a crochet hook. So let's get started and I will be starting by using this darker blue color and first we have to create a slip knot just by simply pulling the yarn through and then we can start doing a bunch of chains. So to create a chain you basically just have to pull the yarn through the loop and just repeat the process. In total I have done 143 chains and this is for size small but if you are in a different size you can simply adjust the size for yourself by measuring uh, all the chains you just did uh, by putting them around the widest area of your body which in this case would be your breasts and uh, then just adjust the size as it's needed. Now we can continue with our first row and we will be doing half double crochets and first we have to count back to the ch third chain. We just pull the yarn over, uh, go through the loop, take another piece of yarn and in total we have three loops and then just pull the yarn through all of them. Once again yarn over, go through the chain, pull the yarn through, we have three loops and pull the yarn through all of them. And then just repeat the same process for the rest of the row. Here I have done a couple of dub half double crochets, so just basically repeat the process until you have the full row. Here is how the full row looks like and now we can continue with the next one. But first we have to finish this one by chaining three chains and then simply turning the work over. And for the next row we will be doing uh, double crochets with holes. And this means that we just have to yarn over, pull the yarn through and go through the first two loops and then go through the last two loops. Then chain one and because we are chaining one we will be skipping one of the uh, chain spaces below and doing a double crochet in the next chain space uh, as here. So do one chain space, yarn over, skip one below and do double crochet in the next one. So basically yarn over, go through, pull the yarn through and then you have three loops, go through the first two and then go through the last two. Skipping one chain here, uh, skipping one at the bottom, yarning over, pulling the yarn through, pulling the yarn through first two loops and the last two loops. And uh, this is how it looks, it creates this nice space in between 
and once again we will just simply repeat the process for the remaining row so just go as you wish Here is how the full row of double crochets and spaces in between looks like and now we can simply continue with the next row. For the next row we are going to do half double puff crochet uh, but first we have to finish this row by chaining two chains and then just simply turning the work around. We will yarn over and go through the first uh, chain space down below. Pull the yarn through and try to pull it a little bit longer. Then yarn over and pull the yarn through again. So now in total you have five loops and then just pull the yarn through all of them. Uh, this is for the first one and then for the next one we are going to repeat the process but the only difference is that at the end we will have seven loops meaning that we will go through the same chain three times. So yarn over, go through and pull through yarn, here we have seven loops and then just pulling the yarn through all of them. So in the first chain because we did a uh, two chains at the start we did only five loops but for the next one we did seven loops just because it's the main stitch basically and now we're going to repeat it with the bigger one by yarning over and going through and then pulling the yarn through and trying to make it a little bit looser so yarn over pull through and stretch it a little bit yarn over and pull through again this is two times and then third time we are doing the same by going through pulling the yarn through and now we have seven loops and basically pulling the yarn through all of them and this is creating this nice little puff because we are using quite a lot of yarn and uh, it just all collects in one spot but it looks quite nice um, so just repeating the process and I hope it's helpful for you to learn this stitch as well if it's new for you. So this is how it looks when I have done a few of them and uh, you just have to repeat the same process for the remaining row. Let's finish this row by chaining three chains. And for the next row, we will be doing shell crochet, which is quite nice and beautiful crochet stitch. So turning our work around and basically doing three double crochets in the first space. Uh, yarn over, pull through, uh, pull through first two and last two and do it for three times. Then we are going to skip two spaces and doing a single crochet in the third space, like so. And then we are going to skip again two spaces and doing five double crochets in the third one. So that's one. Two, yarn over, go through, pull through, and pull through again. That's three, four, and five. And this is how it looks. And then we just repeat by skipping two and doing single crochet in the third one. And then again, five double crochets in the next third one. So one, two, and uh, yarning over and going in the third one and doing five double crochets in there. Now 
This is quite simple stitch and I also like that it's going quite quick and you can finish the row quite fast. And I hope I'm not going too fast and you can still manage to learn it for myself. So here I have done basically three of them and we can continue with the next one by skipping two and doing a single crochet in the third one. So this is how it looks and uh, basically we just have to repeat the process for the rest of the row. Here I have done the whole row and uh, now we can again chain 3, turn our work around and we will repeat the same uh, shell stitch and first we have to do 3 double crochets in the first chain space uh, so yarning over, going through, pulling through the first two and the last two and uh, doing it again for two more times. And then as the next one we are going to skip two chains, one, two, and doing a single crochet in the next one. So single crochet there and then again skipping two and doing five double crochets in the chain below there which is basically in between the two shells so five double crochets in here that's two uh, third one yarn over go through pull through pull through two and pull two through again and our fifth one And then again, just doing a single crochet by skipping first two. So single crochet in the third one, which is basically on the top of the previous shell. This is how it looks so far. And we are just again skipping two and doing uh, five double crochets in between. So five double crochets goes in between the shells and single crochet on the top. So repeat the process for the remaining row and in total we will do it for three rows. So this one and another one. Here I have finished all three rows of shell double crochet and uh, it looks super nice and super beautiful. But now we can continue with the next row and for the next one we will actually do something similar as we did before. So basically this double crochet with holes in between. And uh, first we have to finish this row which is done by do chaining three times and turning our work around. And first we will do double crochet, chain over, go through the first one, pull through and pull through yarn first two and last two and then chaining one and because we chained one we will skip one at the bottom so doing double crochet in the next chain space and again chain one and skip one so basically the same process as before we are doing one double crochet and doing one chain which means that we are creating one hole in between This is how it looks so far and basically you just have to repeat it for the remaining row and here is how it looks when I have finished it. So now let's continue with the next one and uh, first we will have to finish this row by chaining two times and then simply turning the work around and for the next row we will do half double crochets. So yarn over, go through, uh, pull the yarn through and you have three loops and just pull the yarn through all of them and repeat the process. So yarn over, go through, uh, pull the yarn through and you have three loops and pull the yarn through all of them and, and simply repeat the process for the rest of the row. 
here my row of half double crochet is done and we can continue with the next one and for the next one we will basically do a combination of half double crochets with holes and puff double crochet so first we have to chain three turn our work around and in the first one we will do the puff stitch by yarning over pulling through and pulling through basically two times uh, which in total gives us five loops uh, then just chaining one and because we chained one we will skip one at the bottom and in the next one we will do the puff stitch again So chain one, skip one, yarn over, go through and pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull again, yarn over and pull again. This gives us seven loops and go through all of the seven. Chain one and because we chained one, we will skip one. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through again for the last time, for the third time, and pull through all seven loops. And this is how the stitch looks like. So basically you just have the puff with the, with the holes in between and just repeat the process for the remaining row. Here we are at the very end of our row and basically because we don't have extra chain in between we cannot skip one so we will just do a half double crochet in the last one like so. And then we are just going to chain one, turn our work around and for the next row we will be basically doing a single crochets. So no yarning over, just simply going through the chain, pulling the yarn through, you have two loops and pull through both of them. So very simple and very easy. Go through the chain below, pull the yarn through and pull yarn through both two loops. This is how it looks and here it's how the whole row looks like. For the next row, we will be doing again puff crochet stitch so basically we have to finish this one by chaining two turning our work around and uh, repeating the puff stitch that we did before uh, in the first stitch you have to remember to do uh, the puff only two times but in the next one you do it three times so yarn over go through pull the yarn through uh, pull it a little bit more Pull, take the yarn over, pull through again for the second time, take the yarn over and pull through for the third time and then just pull the yarn through all seven loops. Sometimes it's a little tricky but you will get used to it and repeat the same for the remaining row. So now uh, I'm done with using this dark blue color and we will basically switch to the next one and we will do it in the middle of basically just about when finishing with this color so doing our last puff crochet so so pulling through for the third time now and uh, before we pull our yarn through we are going to attach the new color by simply uh, making a knot around the existing one and just make sure that it is secured um, so do the knot and uh, pull it right next to the loop that you have and uh, make sure that it's secured and very close basically as well Tighten it up as much as possible and now when pulling the yarn through you will basically take the new color that you have which is this lighter shade of blue. For the next one we are going to chain 3 to finish this row completely and we are going to repeat the shell crochet stitch we did before. And actually this is the pattern that you can follow and basically repeat and mix and match as you wish. 
so we are doing um, shell crochet stitch now and we are starting by doing three double crochets in one and then again uh, as you remember skipping two and doing single crochet stitch in the next one again skipping two and doing five double crochets in the next stitch which is going to create this amazing and beautiful shell stitch So here it is how it looks and we are going to repeat it for the rest of the row. And of course you can cut your old yarn off once you feel it's secure and safe to use the new color. But now back to doing shell crochet stitch. Uh, here I have done it for two rounds. And uh, what we want to do now is basically to change the color again and we are going to do this one very very light bright uh, blue color. Uh, we, we just have to do our last single crochet basically and just as we did before we are not going to finish it completely but instead we are going to attach the new color uh, making it secure by doing a tight knot which is basically right next to the loops and next to the crochet hook making sure that knot is super super uh, tight and secure and then when finishing the stitch we are going to use the new color that we just attached uh, so yarning over and pulling through with the new color and with this color we are going to chain three uh, turn our work around and we will do the shell crochet again So here I have done three more rows with shell crochet stitch with this color and as I mentioned before we have basically already created our pattern so we can easily just repeat something that we have done before and that's basically up to you and your imagination of what kind of pattern you want to create further and I can basically just simply catch up with you once I have finished with this color and show you what I have made. So for the following row I basically did half double crochet with holes, then I did half double crochet, then half double crochet with holes and puff stitch as well. And uh, now we can basically change the color again and here I am just about to finishing my last stitch before changing color to this other blue shade and again the same process you just basically how to attach the yarn and make a secure knot and just pull it as close as possible and make sure that it's super secure so nothing is going to untie in the process of making this amazing crochet top So just finishing my last stitch here uh, and we will continue with this color. So chaining three times, turning my work around. So for the following I will be doing shell crochet stitch and uh, once again uh, I will just continue doing that and I will check back with you once I have finished with this color and I will explain you what I did and how the pattern looks so far.
So here is my work so far and here is what I have done. So basically I did three rows of shell crochet stitch, then I did double crochet with holes, then half double crochet, half double crochet with holes again, single crochet stitch and puff crochet stitch. And now I have done one other row with shell crochet stitch and just before I'm finishing we are actually going to change the color to the last one which in my case is this beige white color so once again uh, I think you're pretty familiar with this just attaching the new color to the existing one and making a secure knot as close as possible We are again starting by doing shell crochet stitch and uh, once again because pattern is becoming super repetitive uh, I will check back with you what I have done uh, once I'm done with this color. So here I done four rows of shell crochet stitch then I did half double crochet with holes and half double crochet once again. And now we can basically finish our work by chaining one, turning our work around and for the last final row we are going to do a slip stitch which is super simple and super easy. So basically you just have to uh, go through the chain, pull the yarn through and pull the same loop through the existing loop that you already have on the hook. Sometimes it's quite tricky because in the beginning it's very tight, but basically just repeat the process. So go through the chain, pull the yarn through and pull the yarn through your existing chain. And this is how it looks like and here I have finished the whole rectangle that I have so far and now we can continue with the rest of the process. And also just for your note, uh, just so you can see, uh, here the right side where we did our slip stitch is the side that we are going to keep on the for everyone to be visible basically. And uh, by not cutting any yarn off, we are actually going to continue with attaching the main top together. So keeping our correct side in the middle and the other side, which is going to be the inner side, we will keep here it on the outside and we will start by attaching both sides together by doing a slip stitch. So here we have our loop. Uh, which we are going to keep on that side and we are going through the through the some of the yarn loops on this side with our crochet hook uh, just making sure that it goes through properly because sometimes it is a little bit tricky so just pushing our hook through and grabbing the loop that we left on the other side and now pulling the loop through and uh, simply chaining one and for the rest, uh, we are just going to do the slip stitch, which we did before. So pulling the hook through both sides, uh, pulling the yarn and pulling the yarn through the loop that we have on our hook. And just repeating the same process as we go along. This is how it looks so far and we have finished it with our white yarn but now since we are approaching the other color we are actually going to change the color just to make sure that nothing uh, is visible through our lining and that everything looks properly and on fleek. So attaching this color and basically continuing to do the slip stitch with this one as we go along this color and then once we approach the next one you can change the yarn color again and just repeat the slip stitch as before. So 
So here's our top so far and it's starting to look like an actual top. And here you can see the slip stitch that we did across to connect uh, both sides. And uh, we, we are still not done with our dark blue yarn. Uh, so just keeping this loop and turning it on the other side, which in this case is the right side. And we will go back to our loop and we will basically do the slip stitch across the bottom part as well. So just trying to figure out where the loop is as it's super huge and a bit messy at the moment, uh, but just pushing, uh, pulling the hook through the yarn and starting to do slip stitch at the very bottom as well, just to make this nice, um, beautiful lining around the bottom as well. So repeat the process as you did before and simply do the slip stitch at the very bottom. So here's the slip stitch at the bottom so far and just basically go through all the way around. Now that we have done it all the way around, uh, we can finish with this color by chaining one, pulling the yarn through and simply cutting it off with our scissors. And once that's done, you just pull the remaining part through and just tighten it and secure it by pulling quite tightly. So here is how it looks so far. And you can see that it's actually uh, connected quite beautifully and, uh, and it seems to be quite smooth as well. Um, here I have left a little bit of uh, white yarn on this side, but that can be easily fixed by pulling it through uh, when using a crochet hook. So if anything like that happens, you don't have to worry at all because you can easily fix it in a second. At this stage, we are basically almost done with our top and now we can start creating uh, our straps. So basically we just have to create a slip knot and uh, we are going to chain some chains again. In my case, I am going to chain 50, uh, but again, it's totally up to you because we are not in the same size, all of us. Uh, so maybe once you go around with it, maybe try to measure what works for you the best. But keep in mind that uh, yarn is sometimes quite flexible and we, it can stretch out as well. So just keep in mind uh, that and maybe you have to make it a little bit shorter uh, than, than you actually think. So here I have all my 50 chains and now I am going to go back and uh, do a half double crochet. So yarning over, pulling through and pulling through all three loops and repeating the same process. Yarn over, pull through and pull through all three. So here is the final strap that I just did and now we have to attach it to the main uh, top part. And this is how it looks when it's basically connected. So you can see that it's actually not that long, but uh, it will stretch out while I'm wearing it. So I'm just considering that already beforehand. So at the moment we have our top on the right side and we basically have to figure out where we want the straps to be. And of course we want them to be on the same measurement on the both sides as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use some measurement up there and I'm going to measure nine centimeters from each side and uh, I'm going to put some placeholders in, in place just to make sure that uh, I'm attaching the straps to the correct uh, place on both sides. So putting one placeholder on this side and then doing the same on the other side by measuring exactly the same nine centimeters. So 
So now we are going to start attaching our straps and here it's quite handy to remember to attach them from the inside part and also keep in mind that we have the slip stitch that we did on the front side so when attaching these you will actually want to attach them to the two chains that we have in the inner part which is these two uh, where I'm pushing my hook through and then on the outer side we actually have our slip stitch which is going to create this nice uh, and smooth look where basically our straps will look like they are coming from the inside instead of attaching being attached to the main top and uh, it will actually look very very nice when we do it this way so now just attaching our straps by doing some slip stitch again but you can easily do this by using a darning needle but as i said in the very beginning i'm i'm much more uh, used to doing everything with the crochet hook but that's not mandatory at all and just basically do however it feels more comfortable for you um, but yeah i'm just doing a slip stitch here by pulling through both pieces and taking the yarn through and just going through the main loop that I already have on my hook. And just do it for a couple of times until your strap is completely attached and uh, it feels like it's right. So here I have attached it to one side and now we have to do the same by attaching it to the other side. So once again, remember that we have our slip stitch on one side and then on the other side we have the two loops that we did by finishing the last row. So again, just uh, attach the strap on this side. Uh, remember to use your placeholder so it's uh, in the correct and exact spot and uh, simply attach it uh, by using some yarn and pulling it through and as I said before you can easily just use the darning needle but I'm using a crochet hook in this case. So here is how the strap looks when it's attached and as I said it kind of looks like it's coming from the inside and uh, it's not that visible that it would be attached and pulled from the main part of the top. And now just basically do the same with the other strap and attach it as well in the same way as we did with the first one. And here's the second one and again the look is quite smooth and you can see that we have our slip stitch on one side and now we can basically just finish by smoothening up the top and pulling in all the loose uh, yarn that we have. And again, for this you can use the darning needle, but I'm using a crochet hook. Sometimes it's easier to use a smaller size as it's easier to wave the yarn in, but it's totally up to you and just do it for a couple of times and cut off any loose ends. And here's our final product. As I said before, this top is very nice and beautiful and summery. It looks also very nice with all the different crochet stitches. And I really hope that you had a chance to practice new stitches and to learn something new as well. And in case you are going to try out this tutorial or you are trying it out now in the real time, I hope it's going well. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section and I will try to help you as much as possible. Also, there will be available a printed version of this pattern, which I will link down below in the description box. So if you want to check it out, feel free to do so. Otherwise, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it's going to be super useful for you. And if you did enjoy, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and see you later. Bye.